the actors are excited about the announcement of the 2024 Emmy Award nominees. Stars, ranging from David Beckham nominated for his Netflix documentary to Selena Gomez, who received her first-ever Emmy nomination, responded to the huge news when the Television Academy announced the candidates for the 76th Annual Award Ceremony on Wednesday, July 17. On Wednesday, July 17, keep checking back throughout the day as the responses keep coming in. For her role in Only Murders in the Building, Selena Gomez was nominated for her first-ever Emmy in acting. Gomez responded to the announcement of her nomination for Outstanding Actress in a comedy series on Wednesday, July 17. Comma, she only captioned a repost of an item on her Instagram stories that announced the nomination. Along with Paul Rudd and Meryl Streep receiving nods for supporting actor and actress in the Hulu series, which was nominated for Outstanding Comedy Series, Gomez's co-stars Steve Martin and Martin Short also received nominations for Outstanding Actor in a Comedy Series. John Hoffman, the showrunner and co-creator, also expressed in a statement how he felt about the show's success. He remarked, to pull this season off, it meant everyone bringing the most of their love, talent, and ensemble spirit, from the greatest actress ever to the greatest prop master swaddling each one of our Pickwick triplets. Today, I'm beyond thrilled and grateful that the Academy saw them too, and honored so many of our cast and team of artists and collaborators in New York and LA that made our magical third season sing so unforgettably. I watched it up close in amazement. Nominations were received for Outstanding Documentary or Nonfiction Special, which went to the investigation discovery docuseries that exposed the wrongdoing that goes on behind the scenes of Nickelodeon shows. Calm on set, the dark side of kids' TV explored the toxic atmosphere of kid-friendly television that young performers and others had to deal with in the 1990s and 2000s, including numerous Dan Schneider-produced shows. We feel humbled by this acknowledgement. The goal of every project is to have an impact, stated the directors, Emma Schwartz and Mary Robertson, in a statement. It has been deeply rewarding working with the brave contributors who participated in Quiet on set and witnessing how their testimony inspired empathy, empowered others to come forward, and launched calls to better protect children across the industry. We extend our deep thanks to our team, contributors, and the millions of viewers who have met this work with both passion and compassion, they said, continuing and we extend our sincere gratitude to the Voting Academy for recognizing this series. Kristen Wiig is a nominee for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series, and the popular Apple TV Plus series Palm Royale is nominated for Outstanding Comedy Series. She responded with a statement to this nomination as well as the one for her Saturday Night Live guest performance. How the Remaining shocked at this place, she said in a statement. I'm overjoyed for everyone who put in so much effort on SNL and Palm Royale. And to everyone else that is nominated. Everyone at Apple, including the authors, crews, and actors, as well as Lauren Michaels. This is unbelievable. For her part in Griselda, which follows a Colombian woman who heads a formidable cartel, Sofia Vergara received a nomination for lead actress in a limited series. Whoa. It took us 15 years to bring Griselda to life, and it was my first serious role ever, Vergara said. I want to express my sincere gratitude to everyone who contributed to this series. Without the incredible cast and crew, my partner and producer Luis Balaguer, Ted Sarandos, Bella Bajeria, and their team at Netflix, as well as my director Andre Spays, co-star Alberto Guerra, Eric Newman, and the entire creative team, I could not have completed this project. I never would have imagined that I would be able to work on anything as unique as Griselda following Modern Family. She went on, I'm pleased to receive recognition with amazing women who gave us amazing TV this year, Jody, Brie, Juno, and Naomi. I express my gratitude to the Television Academy for this wonderful honor. This year, the morning show's cast members received multiple Emmy nominations, including one for Outstanding Drama Series. The Apple TV Plus series Sybil Richards, Holland Taylor, responded on Wednesday, July 17, to her nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Dramatic Series. Fantastic news. It's like a breath of fresh air as I struggle through the intense heat of New York City to get to my matinee of Not Applicable, which is roughly a 17-block hustle. Lucky, lucky me, she exclaimed, laughing. The show's Mia Jordan, 
played by Karen Pittman, also announced her candidacy for supporting actress. I am deeply appreciative and humbled by this occasion. Being nominated with so many of the show's cast members, directors, and other creatives makes me proud, she remarked. I'm also incredibly proud of our show's nomination. Reese Witherspoon, Jennifer Aniston, Mark Duplass, Billy Crudup, and John Hamm are among the other nominees from the series. Two Emmy nominations were received for Curb Your Enthusiasm, and Larry David's response is sure to make you chuckle. In reference to the program's nomination for Outstanding Comedy Series, he commented, It warms my heart to see that misanthropy is finally being recognized as an art form. He joked, This is a sad day for actors everywhere, in response to the fact that he was nominated for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. See? Anyone can accomplish it. Outstanding Picture Editing for a Non-Fiction Program, Outstanding Directing for a Non-Fiction Program, Outstanding Music Composition for a Documentary Series, and Outstanding Documentary or Non-Fiction Series are among the five Emmy nominations that David Beckham's Netflix documentary Beckham received. In a statement, Beckham stated, Being recognized by the TV Academy is a true honor for me and the entire creative team. This series was a love letter to my family and football, and creating it was such a personal experience. The amazing response to the series that Victoria and I have received has been astonishing. I'm incredibly appreciative of Fisher Stevens' amazing staff as well as everyone from my life and career who participated and had a significant impact on my narrative. This year, The Greatest Night in Pop was nominated for three awards, Outstanding Sound Editing for a Non-Fiction or Reality Program, Outstanding Documentary Special, and Outstanding Directing for a Documentary Program. The iconic song We Are the World, recorded in 1985 and featuring such stars as Lionel Richie, Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, Diana Ross, Tina Turner, Bruce Springsteen, Huey Lewis, Cindy Lauper, Sheila Escovito, and Dionne Warwick, was the subject of the documentary. The Greatest Night in Pop, directed by Baum Gwynn, revived the nostalgia of one of the most well-known songs in history. I am even more amazed after receiving an Emmy nomination for The Greatest Night in Pop, and I am still amazed by what we accomplished in 1985," Richie said in a statement. Working with Netflix to bring this historical event to life has been an absolute delight. We would like to express our gratitude and congrats to all the artists and participants that made We Are the World possible. We are also grateful to the Television Academy for honoring our documentary. Fargo stars have been nominated for Outstanding Limited Series and have placed in multiple categories. Lamorne Morris said he is honored to be included in the honors for his first Emmy nomination, which is for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Limited Series. I'm grateful to the Television Academy for acknowledging my efforts on New Girl at last. I notice that I'm nominated alongside Robert Downey Jr., who basically stole my role in Tropic Thunder, even though I think it's a lock, he said. My fellow nominees and I won't let this slide. This is a great honor and I couldn't be more excited, he said. Very fortunate to collaborate with a cast and staff this brilliant. Go Fargo! A special thanks to Noah for the chance and for believing in me to bring Wit Far to life. Morris's co-stars John Hamm and Juno Temple received nominations as well. Brie Larson, the lead actress of Lessons in Chemistry, is nominated for Outstanding Actress in a Limited Series, while the show has received a nomination for Outstanding Limited Series. In a statement regarding the accolade on Wednesday, she responded to the news. She said, I'm having trouble finding the right words, but this thank you feels so big. We are grateful that the Television Academy saw the aptitude, zeal, and enthusiasm of our lessons in chemistry team. It is the most wonderful feeling to see so many departments succeed. It is a privilege to state that I saw the most incredible people do the most incredible achievements. The world that Elizabeth Zott and Bonnie Garmus have opened my eyes to humbles me. And that we have one final opportunity to toast and eat together makes me incredibly happy. I'm the happiest woman alive, guaranteed. Along with Aya Naomi King, who is vying for Outstanding Supporting Actress, Louis Pullman, her co-star, also garnered notice. He was nominated for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a limited series. King stated in a statement, I am so deeply honored to be nominated for an Emmy. Words cannot express how much emotion I am feeling at the moment, 
but my sincere appreciation is at the top of my list. Thank you to the Television Academy, the amazing cast and crew of Lessons in Chemistry with whom I had the pleasure of working, and to everyone who has ever encouraged me to pursue my dreams. I'm grateful. For her performance in Under the Bridge, Native American actress Lily Gladstone earned her first Emmy nomination for supporting actress in a limited series. The Oscar nominee expressed, I am so touched by this nomination. I really share this distinction with the outstanding cast of Under the Bridge, who told Rena Virk's story with such empathy and unparalleled talent. To celebrate her legacy, every pounding heart on screen contributed so much of themselves, I want to thank Vertika, Archie, and Riley in particular, I am so inspired by you all. We are grateful to Quinn Shepard, Samir Mehta, Riley Keough, Stacey Silverman, Liz Tigelar, and Gina Gamel for sharing this experience and for being leaders in radical empathy. I will always be appreciative that I was included on the journey. For the second consecutive year, Bravo's Vanderpump Rules received a nomination for Outstanding Unstructured Reality Program. Lucilla D'Agostino, head of Evolution Media, responded to the recognition of the well-liked reality show. Vanderpump Rules has been produced by Evolution Media for 11 seasons. The popularity of the show has increased since its 2013 Bravo premiere as viewers have continued to follow the lives of our cast members as their tales have developed. We are pleased that the Television Academy has nominated our hard-working cast and crew for Outstanding Unstructured Reality Program today. Welcome to Wrexham, a documentary series by Rob McElhenney, received six Emmy nominations this year, including one for Outstanding Unstructured Reality Program. McElhenney and Ryan Reynolds strive to develop the Welsh football team Wrexham AFC in the two-season show. Emmy nominations for six? I'm incredibly moved and grateful. I would want to express my gratitude to the Wrexham community, the Welcome to Wrexham team, FX, the Television Academy, and my co-chairman. You belong to the family. The star of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia wrote, Without all of you, none of this would be possible. Simru MBYTH. Due to his performance in the suspenseful television series Fellow Travelers, Matt Bomer is a nominee for Outstanding Actor in a Limited Series. He talked about how the startling news had taken him by surprise when he woke up. He released a statement saying, It was such a nice surprise when I heard this morning. I was unaware that today was nomination day. Simon came in to tell me as I was brewing coffee. I am really appreciative and happy that Johnny and Ron's exquisite work was acknowledged as well. It really moves me that two gay performers in a love story were acknowledged in this manner. Finding Your Roots, a documentary by Henry Louis Gates, Jr., has been nominated for its first Emmy in the category of Outstanding Hosted Nonfiction Series or Special. The show's creator, host, and executive producer, Gates, responded to the thrilling news as well. The stories we tell each week serve as a reminder of two things, first, that despite our outward differences, we are all fundamentally related at the level of the genome, and second, that America's greatness stems from the fact that we are a nation of immigrants, both willing and unwilling, the author wrote. I am thrilled that Finding Your Roots was nominated for an Emmy Award. It is amazing to find such success in our tenth season," he continued. It takes a lot of work for our team to bring these stories to life, therefore we are all very grateful for this acknowledgement. Jodie Foster revealed that she is honored to be nominated for an Emmy this year for her role in True Detective, Night Country. She said in a statement, this just feels like a love letter from above. As an actor, this is my first Emmy nomination and I'm really excited to share this happiness with our Night Country crew. After clinging to each other through the snow and navigating the darkness, we were unable to love and trust each other more. The gift that keeps on giving is becoming a member of the True Detective family with Issa Lopez as our courageous leader. Get the best of people, from captivating human interest stories to juicy celebrity news, by subscribing to their free daily newsletter. Don't miss a story. Fox is presently planning to show the 76th Emmy Awards live on September 15 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time.